Hello everybody, my name is Champ Nier 9000 and welcome to another episode of the Oklahoma City Thunder franchise video and in this episode the 8 and 21 Denver Nuggets take on in OKC the 15 and 15 Oklahoma City Thunder. This is well certain to be a good game and the Thunder have come back to be 500 after winning two straight, one against the Lakers in L.A. and one against the Bulls in OKC. Did I just say the Bulls? I meant the Bulls. I don't think you could tell the difference. One you put soup in. The other is an animal. A, a, a bull in a bull shop. Yeah. Forget China shops. I go to bull shops. And as you can tell, Paul George is back. He got injured in the last episode. It said he'd be ready to go against the Lakers. He was not able to play against the Lakers, but he did come back against the Bulls. So, let's hope. Oh, Westbrook can't get it to fall. I really, like, I really enjoy these jerseys that the Nuggets are wearing in this game. And Moody, oh, don't hurt yourself again, Paul. Please, like, really, please don't hurt yourself again, Paul. Things, well, they're not going amazing for the Thunder. Obviously, they are only 15 and 15. They will be playing a lot better once they get Jimmy Butler back. So, yeah. 2-0 Nuggets right now as Westbrook trying to drive by and unable to. Andre Robertson, he has definitely stepped up since Jimmy Butler got injured and Paul George unable to hit a three himself. When Jimmy Butler got injured, Andre Robertson came in and he stepped up. He took... Uh, he just... He started playing phenomenally. Since Jimmy Butler got injured and he's getting more time in the starting five, Westbrook wishes it. Three to two, OKC lead. Well, yeah, I mean, he really has. He has stepped up, and I'm very glad about that. Not only is it helping the team, it's helping him, too. He's a good player. He's the three-point champion of the Oklahoma City Thunder. Okay, I don't know why Fareed wouldn't take that shot. Okay, out to... Is that Tyson Chandler? Uh, probably. Okay, 4-3. to three. Nuggets lead, and Westbrook, after some pretty cool dribbling skills, Steven Adams a rebound to Russell Westbrook, out to Paul George, who launches a 3. 6-4, to four. Thunder lead. Here we go, Westbrook. Oh, he's just, he's messing with him. He's, circula he's circling Emmanuel Moutier. Oh, tipped by Paul George, but he's unable to bring in, to bring the ball in for the steal. Russell Westbrook dunking on Moutier. Boom, knocking him to the floor. Okay, okay. I think Westbrook may have gotten his ankles just... They may have just gotten a bit sore there. Like, not broken, but... Uh, they may have gotten hurt a bit. Oh, alright. Thunder only lead now. 8-6. to six. Westbrook. Step back from George. He's not open. Passes it to Steven Adams, who launches it across the court to Westbrook, who's being very loosely covered. So he's gonna he's gonna fire a three and he connects. Tyson Chandler once again. Oh, okay. Timeout called by the Um Nuggets. Alright, come on, let's do this. The Thunder are very lucky Paul George was not out for a long amount of time. Because if he was, with him and Jimmy Butler being injured, their season would be over until one of them came back. Then they'd just be winning 
off and on. Like, well, they're winning off and on now, but they're they would lose a lot more games. Say Paul George was out for a lot longer period of time. As George fires another three, can't hit. So yeah, it's very good for the Thunder that George isn't going to be gone long, and Dion Waiters also back. He was injured for a while. He is now back. He's ready to play. And, you know, once Jimmy Butler comes back and this Thunder squad's at full power, things will be going pretty well. So, yeah, I mean, all right, Chris Payne with the ball. He's telling the team, hold it for one shot. Only one shot. All right, here we go. There's no shot clock. Paul George, he has not... Done very well at hitting buzzer beaters in the past. And he connects with one right now. Buzzer beater. Surge hit a buzzer beater in the game against the Lakers. Not to win the game, but to give the Thunder a lead that they would end up not losing. All they would do is gain on it. Come on, just need to find the guy guarding him. Here we go. It's Dion Wade, who let the little midget down by the basket. Whatever. Chris Payne now to Serge Ibaka. Ibaka puts it up. All right, the Thunder with an eight-point lead over the Nuggets right now, 18 to 10. Paul George playing tight D. Very, very tight defense, though. A pick set that kind of threw Paul George off. And they get it to fall. It's a six-point lead now for the Thunder. Surge throwing it into Payne. Payne to George. Paul George launching a three. And he misses it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, stuffed. And Dion Waiters, welcome back. Eight-point lead for the Thunder. Deion Waiters' first points back. First points uh, since he's come back. I didn't know he would be back for this game, so. He wasn't back against the Bulls, so I'm glad he is back and ready to go. All right. Timeout called by the Thunder. I love these Denver jerseys. They are very cool jerseys. Alright, George the pass to Westbrook. Russell Westbrook loses the ball. He lost the ball. Westbrook on yet another turnover. He has had quite a few of those this year. And Serge fouling. Um, I can't read the guy's name backwards. Or more so upside down. Battling this what's-his-name guy from the Nuggets who decided to come here and make a basket. Um, Barton. Barton picks up a foul, and it's a four-point lead now for the Thunder as their lead just dwindling away before their eyes. And Westbrook, the pass to George. George to Adams, back to Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, swish! All right, now back up to a seven-point lead for OKC. And Andre Robertson with phenomenal defense. And the pass to Westbrook for the assist. Well played there by Andre Robertson. Not so great defense right now. As it's a nine-point lead for the Thunder approaching halftime. Steven Adams contested the shot. Westbrook, the only one under the basket, the basket, he's not very tall, so that didn't do very much good. And Russell Westbrook pops another three, and he drains yet another three. Barton has been injured, not good for the Nuggets, but their season hasn't been going well anyways. Nuggets, one of the teams I'm not worried about doing well this year. Well, not, I'm not worried about them... I'm worried about them doing well. I'm not worried about them overcoming us for the division. 
Barton, he may be injured, but he gets a steal there, Paul George. You see him going for the stuff, but completely whiffs it. And George missing yet another basket. Less than a minute left till halftime. Bad defense there. More bad defense. More bad defense. And... And the basket. It's a six-point lead for the Thunder. A little lob pass from Ibaka to Westbrook. Russell Westbrook can't get his shot to fall again. What is this? And the steal. From Andre Robertson to Paul George to Russell Westbrook with the dunk. Westbrook, 18 points in this one. Okay, okay. You know, I think Barton's injury may be a case of broken ankles. I don't know. And the basket's good. So, Thunder have a six-point lead. 30 to 24. And Westbrook needs to find an open man. Pass to George. Up to Andre Robertson. Oh, Russell Westbrook cannot connect with a buzzer beater. So the Thunder lead it by six at halftime. The Thunder, very, well, they're playing pretty well so far. Um, since getting, well, since the last episode, they've won three straight after losing to the, I have no clue, but the last episode we lost, have not lost since then, hopefully we can continue that streak by winning here tonight, so, no, well, if you didn't notice, we finally won a tip-off, I mean, it took forever, but we did it, alright, Emmanuel Moutier now. Uh, he will be taking over the point guard job. They will leave Barton in, though. In the basket made, it's a four-point lead for the Thunder now. Oh, Serge went for the three. Missed Andre Robertson with the rebound. And the basket... Yeah, I don't... I just... My mind totally faded away. I was falling out of my chair. Okay, there we go. And a dunk from Fareed. Still a four-point lead for the Thunder. Okay. Tight coverage on Robertson. Pass to Westbrook, who drives and makes a two. You just play small ball against the Nuggets. They don't really have some. They don't really have great three-point shooters. So you can't worry too much about them because, well, about them going for long shots because, I mean, they don't have three-point shooters. So, as long as you can at least get two on your possession, you're good. The Thunder don't need to be going for crazy threes. But that is what their team specializes in, so you know they're going to be going for some. And Paul George, he's going to dribble up to the top of the key. And Adam, somewhat of a screen on Tyson Chandler there. Sorry if it's not actually Tyson Chandler. Paul George can't get his shot to fall. Like I said, we don't need to be going for those. But that is what our team specializes in. Dion Waiters, a knee to the gut of Tyson Chandler when he was going for his shot. It's the front of the rim there on his first shot. And, okay, well, it's a three-point game now. Chris Payne has it, and Payne to George. George going to drive it, drive past, pass back out to Steven Adams, who draws a foul and throws Allen on the floor. So, see, Steven Adams really not great at hitting his free throws. But he hits one there, four-point game, and uh, he misses his second. So it's a four-point game. A man, yeah, Emmanuel Moutier. Steven Adams with the rebound. Paul George has it, and okay, Steven Adams 
Going to grab that. Paul George, no one covering him, so he's going to take the wide open three. That wasn't really a close three either. That was a long ways away. And then Moody A going to just chuck it out of bounds. Don't know who he was looking for there. The Thunder lead in opponent points over the last 30 days. Because, I don't know, they didn't do, they're giving, I think they said like 82 points they allow each game, percent, like about, their percentage is about 82 points per game. Paul George, it's another three, 10 point game. 41-31, Thunder lead it. Oh, but Chris Payne, his ankles were just shattered. And that basket's good there. And now Dion Waiter's gonna drive! Oh, so close to an and one. Dion Waiter's first free throws back. He swishes the first one and the second one as well. Both excellent shots. Emmanuel Moutier, definitely the best player on the Nuggets. And he's not even amazing. He's not even a, a outstanding player. I'm not better than him because I'm not very good at basketball. Well, I'm okay at basketball. Dion Waiters, what a shot. 13-point lead for the Thunder. I'm definitely not better than Emmanuel Moutier. But for NBA status, um, he's not great. Paul George now with it. Pass to Dion Waiters. Who? Well, he gets fouled. Waiters once again. Okay, he misses a free throw this time. And his next shot falls. Okay. Oh, Waiters tries stealing it there. Unable to, though. And Russell Westbrook for the reaching foul. Do, 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 do. Alright, Mitch McGarry decided to leave. And, well. Yeah. The Nuggets, they're starting to play a bit better basketball right now. And a blocking foul called on Ordesee. That's his third of the game. And it's going to allow Robertson to go to the line. So Andre Robertson misses his first shot. He sinks his second. Now the tight D once again from Robertson that he plays so well. Oh, the steal by Emmanuel Moutier. The pass out to Foy. Okay, I don't know what Fareed's doing. Oh, I know what Fareed's doing. Get out of here, Fareed. No, somebody stop Dorsey. Okay, well, it's a seven-point lead for the Thunder. Westbrook loses it, allowing Moutier to throw up a buzzer beater. That was... The Thunder got a bit sloppy at the end of the quarter. They have a seven-point lead. Can they hold on to it for four more minutes? Starting it off strong is Westbrook. He's taking it down. The pass into Dion Waiters, who can't hit his shot. Luckily, it says Barton's injury is not too serious. Looks like he'll be out for a few games. But luckily, Barton is not injured too severely for the Nuggets. It's a five-point game. George the pass into Westbrook. Russell Westbrook, nobody's going to guard him, so he's going to drop in a three. Eight-point lead for the Thunder. Oh, Westbrook! Okay, shot misses. Fareed goes up for another one. He misses that one, too. Okay, here we 
go. Not very good there from Paul George. Paul George ankle snapped. That ankle break breaker there. And, well, not good for Paul George. Nope, not you. Oh, come on. That was a foul. Oh, Emmanuel Moody! Are you seriously going to call Andre Robertson for that? That was not a shooting foul. Fareed goes to the line in a six-point game. His first shot falls. His next shot. Doesn't drop. Tyson Chandler passed Andre Robertson. Who throws it down the court to Westbrook? Who can't hit? Barton has to come back in the game despite him being injured. Like I said, his injury is not too serious. So he might. It's not going to be good for him that he's going to be playing through an injury. What a shot! It's a one basket game with two minutes, 20 seconds to go. Trap? What? Why is Abaka written so small on the back of his jersey? And this is not good for the Thunder. They are blowing a once massive lead. Almost, almost a 20 point lead. And the game is tied with exactly two minutes left on the clock. Russell Westbrook tries to draw a foul. Foul not called, but he still makes the basket. It's a two-point lead for the Thunder in OKC. You see the fans holding up their signs. Denver's going to call a timeout. This game is coming down to the wire. Oh, oh, you can't stop me. No, you cannot. As Surge. Gonna... Oh, Barton called for backcourt. I was about to say he's about to go backcourt. But before I could even say it, he goes backcourt. Okay, Westbrook. He's going to take his time. The pass to George. George now. He's going to take his time. And now, about five seconds remaining on the shot clock. The Thunder need to be looking for a shot. The shot clock goes off. You know, the Thunder, they're trying to waste out some time, but they can't waste out too much because a three gives the Nuggets a lead. Or a two ties it. It's a tie game at 53 with a minute 20 left. Oh, no. Thunder. They can't find anyone open. They pass it out to Andre Robertson who shoots a three. It doesn't fall. There's a minute left in the game. It's a tie game. Denver with it. The pass out. Tyson Chandler with a contested shot. You know the Thunder are just looking to make a basket to mm, Westbrook. That was a bad pass from George Luckley. Westbrook able to grab it and the Thunder take a two point lead. Westbrook happy. The Thunder happy. I'm happy. It's a 20. No, nope, never mind. I was looking at the time on the video. I was going to say it's a 24 point lead. It's not. A two point lead. A two point lead. It's tied. 34 seconds. Westbrook. The pass to Paul George. George gets it to fall on the Nuggets. Call another timeout. A two-point lead for the Thunder. Question is, are is Denver going to look for the go-ahead three with 28 seconds left? Or are they just going to look to pick up a two to tie it? 
All right, looks like they'll probably be going for the two. It can't fall. It can't fall. Time's running out. Moutier going in inside. Time's running out. His shot doesn't fall. 2.3 seconds left. The buzzer beater. It didn't even matter. The Thunder win. The Nuggets. Well, still sitting at eight wins. With like, I said like what, eight and twenty-eight or something? No, eight and twenty-one. They might be eight and twenty-two now. The Thunder are sixteen and fifteen. Player of the game, Russell. Westbrook, 27 points, 2 assists, and 1 rebound. Just look at some of his highlights. Look at the vertical jump on that. There's one of the threes he swished. That was one of the go-ahead baskets. Another shot. Don't forget the, his pass to Paul George. That was the game winner. What a game, what an episode of the Oklahoma City Thunder franchise video. I hope you enjoy it. I'll see you next time. Peace.